Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Friday the 5th of January. It's lovely to have you joining me this morning. Today I will be using the words from the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come. Let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the psalms that have been set for this morning is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's, and all that therein is, the compass of the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas, and prepared it upon the floods. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Or who shall rise up in his holy place? Even he that hath clean hands and a pure heart, and that hath not lived up his mind unto vanity, nor sworn to deceive his neighbour, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and the righteousness from God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, even of them that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord strong and mighty, even the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? Even the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Ruth, chapter 4, verses 1 to 17. Then went Boaz up to the gate, and sat him down there. And behold, the kinsman of whom Boaz spake came by, unto whom he said, Ho, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsman, Naomi, that is come again out of the country of Moab, soileth a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise thee, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants and before the elders of my people. If thou wilt redeem it, redeem it. But if thou wilt not redeem it, then tell me that I may know, for there is none to redeem it besides thee, and I am after thee. And he said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day thou buyest the field of the hand of Naomi, 
Thou must buy it also of Ruth the Moabitess, the wife of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar mine own inheritance. Redeem thou my right to thyself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the manner in the former time in Israel, concerning redeeming and concerning changing, for to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbour. And this was a testimony in Israel. Therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, Buy it for thee. So he drew off his shoe. And Boaz said unto the elders and unto all the people, Ye are witnesses this day, that I have bought all that was Elimelech's and all that was Chilean's and Marlon's of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth, the Moabitess, the wife of Marlon, have I purchased to be my wife, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren and from the gate of his place. Ye are witnesses this day. And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. The Lord make the w woman that too did build the house of Israel. And do thou worthily in Ephrathah, and be famous in Bethlehem. And let thy house be like the house of Pharez, whom Tamar bare unto Judah, of the seed which the Lord shall give thee of this young woman. So Boaz took Ruth and she was his wife. And when he went in unto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. And the women said unto Naomi, Blessed be the Lord, which hath not left thee this day without a kinsman, that his name may be famous in Israel. And he shall be unto thee a restorer of thy life, and a nourisher of thine old age, for thy daughter-in-law which loveth thee, which is better to thee than seven sons hath borne him. And Naomi took the child and laid it in her bosom and became nurse unto it. And the women, her neighbours, gave it a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Obed. He is the father of Jesse, the father of David. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee, all angels, cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the he kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever, world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading that is set for this morning is Colossians chapter 4, 
verse 2 to the end. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. With all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, that I might make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that he may know how ye ought to answer every man. All my state shall Tychius declare unto you, who is a beloved brother and a faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord, whom I have sent unto you for this same purpose, that he might know your estate and comfort your hearts. With Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you. They shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, saluteth you, and Marcus, sister's son to Barnabas, touching whom ye received commandments. If he come unto you, receive him. And Jesus, which is called Justice, who are of the circumcision. These only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you, always labouring fervently for you in prayers, that ye may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you. And them that are in Laodicea, and them in Hierapolis, Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Salute the brethren which are in Laodicea and Nymphas, and the church which is in his house. And when this epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, that he likewise read the epistle from Laodicea, and say to Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received in the Lord, that thou fulfil it. The salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high have visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the King and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty God, who hast given us thy only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, being regenerate and made thy children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by thy Holy Spirit through the same, our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the same Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we bring to you those many things that are on our hearts this morning. We pray for our world. We pray calling for peace between Israel and Gaza. We ask for an end to the fighting. We ask that the leaders of those governments, those countries would come together and would work out a lasting peace. We pray also for the countries of Russia and Ukraine. We pray that there may be peace between those countries too. May their leaders come together. May there be discussions and may they work out a true and lasting peace. Father, we pray for our own country at the beginning of this new year. We pray for our Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. We pray for his government, the Cabinet. We pray that politicians may work together to bring a fruitfulness to this country and we pray that the workings of this country may work for the benefit of every citizen.
Father, we bring our town of Rayleigh to you this morning. We pray for those who live in Rayleigh and those who work in Rayleigh. We pray for the churches of Rayleigh, for the church leaders and the congregations, all of those who work together to bring your kingdom to our town. We pray for our high street, for all of those who work in the shops, the hospitality outlets, the library, the funeral directors, the hairdressers, the barbers, the pharmacists, We pray for our local schools going back after the Christmas break. We pray for the head teachers, the teachers, and for the young people. We ask that you would give the young people as a zest and an energy for learning. That they would have a good term. Father, we pray for those in our care homes. We pray for the carers and we pray for all of the residents. We ask that you would keep them safe. Father, we pray for those who are in hospital at the moment and we ask that you would bring them healing. We pray for Sam and we pray for Margaret. We ask that you would bring them both back to health. We pray for all of those who work in our local hospital in South End, the consultants, the doctors, the nurses, the registrars, everybody working there. We ask that you would give them energy and help them to use their time efficiently and for the good of the most people. We pray for all of those who we know who are unwell at the moment. As I said, we, we pray for Sam and we pray for Margaret. We pray for Stephen, for Wendy. Ask that you would bring them healing. Help those who look after them and care for them. And Father, we pray for all of those who have lost loved ones, especially over this Christmas season. We pray for all of those who feel alone and isolated. We ask that we, you would give them your comfort and your strength in the days ahead. Father, we bring to you the names of those that have been left in the Allen Chapel this week. We're asked to pray for Peter Allen after the loss of his wife, Nikki. Father, we ask that you would comfort him and strengthen him. And also, we remember Gillian and we ask that you would comfort all those who miss her. Father, finally, we bring to you ourselves this morning. As we begin this brand new day, we ask that you would guide us and strengthen us for all that lies ahead. Help us as we follow you, as we 
walk along with you. Help us as you lead us to those people you would have us speak to and those places you would have us go. Father, we thank you as we know that you hear our prayers, that we pray in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning. It's been lovely having your company. I wish you a very happy new year and I hope that I will see you all again very soon. God bless. Goodbye.